Hello, hello. Happy New Year to you all. I hope you have a fabulous and peaceful 2024. So I've come along today to take part in the fabulous challenge that Corey has put together called Little Bits of Lace 2024. Corey kicked off um, a collaboration on the 1st of January called Initially You 2022. And um, it seems like yesterday, this year's challenge is to use little bits of lace, use the hashtag little bits of lace 2024 and share your ideas, your makes, what you do with your little bits of lace and your scraps um, to kind of inspire people to use theirs. So please take part to get involved as well. And if we're all using the hashtag, it's just going to be a lovely collaboration where we can all be inspired by each other. I did, um, you had to use your initials to do something. And I did trim, um, oh, what did I do? I did, I did three things. Uh, oh, texture, dimension and frills. So I thought, oh, I'm bound to have lots of bits of lace in here so I can have a look at it and just kind of get inspired really. And that's all I've got, um, using a, a, a strip of lace as a page edge. So that was a bit disappointing. I thought I'd done lots more with lace in my little book. And I hope to come back to this because I didn't actually finish it. There's a whole signature in here unused for little ideas and things. So I might actually start dipping into that this year. So little bits of lace. Now, um, I'm not a huge lace user. I might use the odd piece here and there. But what I did was I've put together a little freebie. Um, you can, this is the second page. I haven't actually cut it out yet, but you can see it's kind of a little lace collage um, and it's the calendar pages and they're in two sizes, this size. And then I did them in little pity ones as well. So if you would like to use these little lace calendars, they're over on my Kofi. Um, the link will be in the description box as will the link to Kofi, uh, to Corey's video. Um, and obviously I'll put the hashtag in the description so you can remember to use that. So I have um, a few little ideas for makes. Um, I'm gonna use those for some. So my the first thing I did was did some little clusters. So I'm gonna make a little cluster. I've got a few partially made ones here. Um, I'm just gonna show you kind of the idea behind these. These are not new, lots and lots of these are out there. Um, but you just take a paper clip and thread through a little strip of fabric or lace or whatever you want to use and just pull that through your paper clip. I'm not actually going to make this one because I've already got these two partially made. And then what I do is I take this to my sewing machine, I line the foot up with the edge of the paper clip and just stitch a little running stitch along there. So it's something like this. And these are the two that I have already prepared. I've made three already. Um, so basically, all I'm going to do is make a little cluster using strips of lace. So I'm going to start with my needle and my cotton. Now, when I made the other three, I didn't actually cut my cotton off. But I'm going to cut the cotton off on this because um, we're only going to make the one. And then I'm going to come up with a few other little ideas hopefully if my brain will work i tried to film yesterday and i had no voice whatsoever which obviously jay and poppy were quite pleased with but um i, I just couldn't film i just couldn't talk still a little bit croaky today but it's much better much better than yesterday so i'm just going to take some little pieces of lace I might start off with some kind of backing piece let's have a look at what we've got that's not very big. I've just got loads and loads of little pieces. I pulled out probably a lot more than I could ever use. Um, let's have a little leaf, shall we? That's quite cute. Have a little leaf hanging out there. Might need to pop a little bit of glue on this because, yeah, I think we will. That's obviously not going to be picked up with my stitching. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. Just pop that down. I mean, it might, it might. If I put it up here, maybe it will get I've got a little bit of. It's not really going to hold much in place, I don't think. Um, I'll put that little piece there. 
Um, I've, I've just got lots of scraps here, lots and lots of scraps. And I'm just gonna lay some down, kind of overlapping them. That's quite a nice piece. Let's put that piece on there. And then that piece on there. I've got a little piece that's not gonna show up because it's pretty similar in color. So I'm gonna try and, that's white, let's pop that on top of there and then that and it's just a case of kind of um, layering them in different kind of positions really so you've got a bit of a bit of a lace cluster there's nothing too drastic going on there then I'll take my my little button okay so I've got my little pieces I'm gonna hold my button Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. You could do this back to front if you want. I like my knot showing, so I'm just gonna go through. Uh, not pull that through all the way. And then come back up. Right. While the needle is still there, I'm gonna pull that tight and I'm gonna tie this in a double knot. Now, I leave the needle in because if you take the needle out, You've got four little pieces of thread flapping around and it does make it very difficult to actually tie it off. So we do it like that. <clears throat> I'll put a double knot in there. Just trim and trim. And now we have our little lace cluster paper clip. So let's take our... Um, let's see which one this might work on. It won't work on January because I've done it the other way round. Oh, that's a bit pants. Oh, I tell you what, let's just pop this on a page. So what we can do is take a little journal. This one's obviously not finished. <laughs> and we can just slide that onto a page edge. Okay. So we've just got our paper clip on our page edge. So that's our little lace paper clip. Um, and I've done a few. I did this one with a flower instead of a button. Um, and these are just little pieces of doily that, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. These are little pieces of doily that have just been um, cut out of, um, I think it was a, um, a dressing table mat on this little one here again with a flower and the little pink one on a little piece of pink chiffon. That's the first thing. Okay, let's move on to the little pieces, um, the little piece of lace calendars. So we've got January here. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one extremely simple. I'm going to grab my crocodile. I think I'm going to put it in this corner here. Uh, pop in a hole. Eyelet. I'm going to keep those out because I want to do something else with those shortly. I'm going to grab a little charm. I'll just bring my camera down a bit. Hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. Um, I'm going to use a garment pin or a bulb pin. They're also called. Let's grab one of those. And I'm going to keep this super, super easy. So I'm going to grab my bulb pin. And I'm just going to layer a couple of pieces. Actually, I'm going to leave that doubled over because that looks quite cool. I'm going to just put that like that. A little bit of lace on the top and then let's have a little bit of colour. I'm going to go for a little piece of green I think. I'm going to go through the through the charm, through the lace and then just through that eyelet <clears throat> and then we just have a little bit of lace dangle super simple but very cute 
so that's the next one um, for February I had a kind of very simple and straightforward idea for this and what I should have done on January is actually sewn it ah, I forgot to sew it right let's find a suitable piece of a lace right this piece this little piece here right I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place put that there turn this over going to pop a little bit of glue here and fold that over and leave a little gap and put a little crease in there if I can. Now do I want a second piece of lace there? Let's see what we've got. Oh god that pretty little flower that would look quite cool. I'm going to put that down slightly over the Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run some stitching um, around the calendar. So we've got a little lace tab and you can do this on, sorry, you can do this on page edges, anything you like to get that little tab look. So that's January. Let's move on to March. We're going to do something else really, really simple for this one. Grab a little piece of lace, roughly the same length. Gonna just run a bead of glue along there. I don't know if it's actually holding anything, but grab a couple of little pieces. Just have a little bit of a layering thing going on here. And I'd really like those little flowers. These came from um, Laurie Hay. So thank you for those, Laurie. I'm going to rely on some stitching to hold that in place anyway. Okay, so, so again, I'm just going to sew around that just as a little embellishment, just as a little, um, little piece there. And I did the same sort of thing on June as well. Oh, that was May. Oh, we missed April. March and April. <laughs> Okay, let's have a little look at March. Now, this is something that may go completely wrong, but what I want to do is put in two little holes, two little holes here. Line them up as best I can. Okay, grab my small eyelets. Just pop a couple of small ones in there. You could use big eyelets. Um, you could just use a hole. To be honest, you probably don't need the eyelets to do this. Okay. Right. Now, grab my wire. And I want it probably twice the width of that. Now, I'm going to come from the back like that. Um, I think this is the piece of lace that I have cut roughly the size I want. Now I'm just going to use my wire and poke it in and out of the top of this lace. It's a bit fiddly and I'm really sorry if I'm breathing rather close to the camera. Right. Now I'm going to pop it through the other side. <laughs> I don't exactly know what I was expecting this to look like. I'm not sure. But we've started it now, so I'm going to, going to carry on. I'm just going to close that wire up. Uh, well, it's quite nice. I thought it was going to be a little bit more gathered than that. Right, I'm going to grab it and twist twist it a few times to tighten that up. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the wire, a little bit of tape, just put that over that. So we've made that into a little bit of a curtain. Like I said, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting, but I quite like it, quite like it. 
that was pretty much all I had thoughts for. So we've got um, June, February, where's April, right. So I'm gonna grab April. I think we just probably, um, we have done pretty much all of the ideas, haven't we? What we could do though is do a little banner that would fit there so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make another cluster the reason I'm only using one one stitch is because I'm I'm using um, a waxed linen thread and it is exceptionally strong so I know that's going to hold just with one stitch if you're using a normal cotton you'll probably need to put a couple of stitches through your button before you tie it off that's our little cluster I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue along there just so it's in place pop that down and I've got enough enough room to move that out of the way and sew so there so this is kind of repeated this idea um, the little cluster but this time we've got it actually on directly on our piece of ephemera I mean and you could you could use these ideas on any type of ephemera you could use them on tags um, they're nothing new they've all been done before it's just a little reminder of things you can do with your lace so March April May June January and February so that's the first six months done um, you could paper clip these into a journal um, I especially like the little tabs because I think they'd make great page edges so that's me and my little bits of lace 2024 I hope um, it's given you some inspiration even if it's just a little bit and please do share your ideas so we can all be inspired from you too um, Thanks for joining me. I will be back really soon. Take care. Bye.